Welcome back. You're watching Sunday Express. The closure of schools during lockdowns imposed to curtail the spread of COVID-19 may have presented an opportunity for female genital mutilation to thrive. Girls were left exposed with nowhere to run to as rescue or safe houses were also closed and anti-FGM crusaders movement hampered. Safina Chen brings you the double tragedy women and girls face in Baringo County during the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. According to a recent report commissioned by President Uhuru Kenyatta to assess the impact of COVID-19 on adolescents, over 375,000 learners in primary and secondary schools were missing after schools reopened for physical learning after the long closure with girls being the most affected. So where are our children? I needed answers. And so I took a trip to Baringo County, a county that is still caught up in the war against female genital mutilation <laughs> an outlawed cultural practice that is linked to early marriage and cases of school dropout a vice that is said to have been excavated during the covid 19 lockdowns when the world went silent we have Peter Florence Lamariwo is a head teacher of Chemolingot Primary School in Tiati constituency, which doubles up as a rescue center for girls escaping from the retrogressive cultural practice. The center, she says, was drastically affected by the COVID-19 containment measures. 16 March 2020 was a difficult time for me because they were saying that we close all the schools. I want to approach the DC. He told me, Madam, directive from above, I stay in the school for one week with the children, not knowing what to do. They are crying that now it seems we are going back to the same, same problems. I went back to the church. Kongena pastor na wa mama wale to nashiriki here, I see. Wa mama wa full gospel to kambia, let us share these children. Several campaigns have been mooted nationwide in a bid to end this harmful practice thinly veiled in culture, but not all actors share in the same vision. Sometimes we, when a chief brings those culprits which are doing the cut, they don't take any action that uh, will make us to, to see that, that uh, they say we don't want a lot of blames. Them see uh, one favor from the community, we will interfere, who will fought him. And when I ask her if Kenya can achieve its target of ending FGM by 2022? 2022 is not attainable to end FGM in all the communities that are occurring because uh, most of these uh, meetings are just uh, happening in big hotel. People discuss and go back. I have not seen anyone doing anything around. As she calls for an immediate change of strategy, it's her personal conviction that the value of education in winning the war against FGM cannot be underestimated. The value of education is very important. It will give you enough power to live anywhere in the Republic. You are not born to be married by a pocot. You can marry anybody within the Republic, within the, uh, the planet. According to a UNICEF 2020 report, 4 million girls and women in Kenya have been silenced through FGM. It is time to make those voices heard. It is time to stop this cruel cut. For Sunday Express, I am Safin Aching Oma.